Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and this is the first of three videos for this week's gaming news. And let's start it off with Ubisoft wondering why no one wants to buy it. Um, this has come in especially with the huge six months of acquisitions that have occurred with Activision, Bungie, Bethesda, and so much more occurring and most likely coming through, Ubisoft is questioning itself and saying, how come nobody wants to put some money on the table and acquire us? Well, there's so much reasons why. Let's talk about it. So, this is an article by Artgrind.com where it states, Ubisoft doesn't understand why nobody wants to buy it. Well, why nobody wants to buy it? Let's, let's talk the truth. Let's talk what's going on. Um, in the last investor earnings meetings, it looked like they were attempting to sell with following sentences, Ubisoft assets have never been stronger. We've had the best games in the library in our history. This is all information, this is all statements coming from the CEO, uh, along with, and I quote, in fact, we've had uh, some questions in the uh, solidarization of the industry, like, I would like to understand why they haven't been receiving any purchase proposals uh, such as value that will bring the uh, bring onto the table. The CFO replies, uh, "We are not going to speculate on why we didn't have proposals, um, but we are interested." And then, uh, right quickly interrupted by the CEO saying that, "Let's not speculate on that." So, Ubisoft has a reputation right now of not producing well-established games. That's one reason why. Two, Ubisoft is continuing to try to implement the NFTs into the gaming market and they're pioneering it and they're staying strong on it. Gamers are not approving over it, which has been affecting their um, bottom dollar. They have been taking a loss in the last two quarters. Three, so far, no games that they have produced have been hits yet. Watch Dogs was a fail. Watch Dogs, the two Watch Dogs games were a fail. The fact that they want to make a Assassin's Creed Lives has gotten a lot of skeptical and negative reactions. Far Cry, the new Far Cry, has been it was okay, it was pretty decent. But there hasn't been such a huge impact with what's going on on Ubisoft. But they're saying that total, the entire games have pretty much surpassed the $100 billion revenue mark. Uh, although, although Far Cry 6 wasn't what they expected, and both Exertion as well with Rainbow, Rainbow Six Exertion as well didn't compete really well. So those are multiple reasons why no one's really interested. And with all these acquisitions occurring, who knows who's next? Maybe somebody will buy Ubisoft. Maybe it would be Sony. Maybe they want to have an, an extra, uh, but an extra property in their market, property in the portfolio, along with Bungie, uh, because of what Microsoft did and the explosion they they caused with Bethesda and um, Activision Blizzard. So, what's your thoughts on this? Who you think should buy Ubisoft? Should Ubisoft even be sold? Should somebody even buy this company? What's your thoughts, guys? On top of that, what's your thoughts of Ubisoft as a company as a whole? For me, I loved Ubisoft back in the day with the original Assassin's Creed games. It got me into that company, and I was enjoying it. They became stale. I played Watch Dogs. For me, it was okay. But, eh. Let me know your opinions in the comments below, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get your latest gaming news, reactions, highlights, so much more. Oof, so many more things I'm trying to produce, guys, on this channel, and I couldn't do it without y'all. So thank you so much, and don't forget to see you guys on the other side. Cheers.